Okay. Uh... Vikings have a little situation. Um, they were having their big night practice tonight, and uh, they had to do it with just Jake Browning at quarterback because uh, Kellen Mond tested positive for COVID. So he was out, and so were uh, um, Nate Stanley and, of course, Kirk. Um, because, you know, with the way they do it, with the way their protocols are, you know, they're deemed like whatever high contact, um, high, high risk contacts, or what, it, it's kind of irrelevant what the, what the terminology is, but point being that, um, they were out for tonight, and in, it's possible they m might be out for a little bit until they test negative. Or, you know, obviously, like I said, Mond was the one who tested positive. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the other ones can't or are going to be able to, you know, get back in there right away. Um, Zimmer was not happy. Uh, in fact, I just got through watching this press conference video. Um, like, he, he's visibly pissed off about this. And, and I don't blame him because, you know, and he says it in his, in his, said it in his press conference that, you know, what if this, what if this happens during the season? What if this happens before, the day before a game that could decide whether or not they go to the playoffs. It would be disastrous. And of course, in Zimmer's case, I'm not sure I necessarily believe that his job is in that kind of jeopardy, but you know, not making the playoffs could mean he's out of a job. Like his his employment could be at risk if uh, you know, if a bunch of fucking COVID shit comes in and, and derails a very important game or the whole fucking season or whatever. And, you know, I'm conflicted on one part because, like, immediately after Mon test positive and, these, and then the quarterback's shot, everyone's blaming Kirk for it. It's like they're, they're, they're acute. I swear, it's, some of these people think Kirk probably gave Kellen Mon COVID. Um... And look, I'm I am the one of the fan base's biggest Kirk Cousins defenders as a football player. You know, and we don't have we don't we don't have confirmation. I don't think that he is unvaccinated, but it's it's strongly rumored. Look, whether it's Kirk, whether it's Rick Dennison, whether it's Adam Thielen, Harrison Smith, any other, anyone else. Get the fucking shot. I have, I have, zero. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a hundred percent with Zimmer on this. You know, get, get the fuck, get the fucking shot. And I, I don't want to, for God's sakes, I better not see a bunch of fucking comments show up on this video like, did, like they did on the Denison video from a bunch of these fucking, you know, anti science, anti vaxxer fuckwits. I don't want to hear from you. You're, you're fucking idiots. Just don't even waste your fucking time commenting. Or posting anywhere else on the internet. It's just, it's pure idiocy to not get the shot. And I defend Kirk, but if Kirk's the one, you know, if, if Kirk's, you know, not getting the vaccine, or, if, or I mean, even Thielen or Smith or, or anybody else on the team, like, we don't know, we don't know for sure who everyone who is vaccinated or not but I mean I'm, I'm with Zimmer on this it's un it's completely fucking unacceptable Sel it's selfish narcissistic stupid bullshit and you know all this did all this did tonight and today is cost him you know some practices you know I don't think that's gonna hurt <laughs> I don't think that'll like hurt Kirk it might hurt some of the other players, but 
you know, it's not about it's not even about what's hap- what happened now. It's about what could happen. Because I don't think this I don't think this variant thing is going to go away anytime soon. This is going to be a thing. You know, it ain't going to send us back to last March or you know March 2020. It's not going to send us back to that point again. But I mean, it's going to be a very big problem. You know, there's, they've been having some issues in baseball uh, this week with some postponements, and you know, it's not going to it's not going to stop until people get vaccinated. And unfortunately, there's a whole lot of people who won't get vaccinated. And yes, unfortunately, there's players on the Vikings who who are not getting vaccinated. Um, and now Mond, uh, I guess, is vaccinated. And I don't want to. God, I'm so sick of people hearing the people. If, 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 if the vaccine works, how can you still get it? It's not about it's not about keeping you from getting it. It's about keeping it from fucking killing you or you know you having really serious consequences and and you know complications from it. It's not it's that no one has ever said that if you get the vaccine that you will never get COVID. It's not about that, but it greatly decreases the the odds that you're going to get seriously ill from it or that you're going to pass it on to somebody else. People don't want to fucking hear that shit. The fucking fucking clowns who were spewing this shit at me in the Denison video comments, like, they don't want to hear this shit. And, you know, This is a very promising Vikings team, a very promising season. And I think Zimmer believes this too. I think, you know, Zimmer Zimmer seems very, very upbeat, you know, maybe not today, but upbeat and confident and enthusiastic about this team because he knows that this team can really do something special. And to be faced with the possibility that that's all going to be fucked up because a few players are stupid ass fuckwits who won't get the vaccine. You know, it's it's clearly just pissing him off something unbelievable, and I don't blame him because it's pure selfishness. You got you know, you know, fifty three man roster, obviously. Hundreds of people in the organization, and all the work, all the time that all these people put in, you know, all the time, all the hours Zimmer puts in, all the years he's put in to this organization, and just in his career, and the idea that the, that all of this is going to potentially be put at risk because of a bunch, you know, you know, a handful of just idiots who won't take just a simple little shot that isn't going to fucking hurt you. You might get a little, you might get a little sore arm. You might get, you might, you know, feel a little crappy for a day or something. You're going to be fucking fine. Like even if, even if you, even if you believe, even if you go into the whole thing of, oh, if you get the vaccine, you can still get COVID. Yeah, they're not going to take games from you. If you're vaccinated and you test positive, they're not. They're probably not going to make you not play if you're vaccinated and you test positive. And and you know, I, and I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm the last person who's going to single out Kirk Cousins in a negative way on things. He's not the only player who's. You know, at least, at least, strongly rumored to not be vaccinated. But if, if, if the, you know, the nightmare scenario that Zimmer mentioned, if that came up, and it's, and Kirk would be the cause, I would turn on that guy so fast, you would get whiplash from seeing it, because, you know, the Vikings are bigger than any one player. And, you know, 
They have a chance to have a really fucking good season. A really good team. You know, and there are other... And look, every, every team's probably got... You know, players who aren't vaccinated or, or maybe never will be vaccinated. You know, and of course, being unvaccinated doesn't mean you're going to get COVID. But, again, this was just a practice situation thing. But, you know, quarter, you know Montez positive, but that knocks Kirk out. It's not even about that. You know, like, you know, you don't even have to be the guy who, you know, who gets COVID and you're the, you know, and, and you're the guy who's, out of luck, it's like you're taking everybody down with you. And you know, maybe this will be it. Maybe this will be the only thing that happens. I mean, fuck. fuck the, I mean, they, look, they got through last year with. Uh, I don't believe there was anything in terms of like. Well, I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess. Uh, Thielen missed a game. But uh, I think that was the only major, major one. But of course, the variant thing is much more contagious and tra um, transferable. So it could be, you know, again, this could be the only thing that happens. But it seems unlikely that it would be. And you know, I'm a hundred percent with Zimmer on this. Get the fucking shot. Like he's he. he like he's trying to be, you know, very fair and diplomatic about these things. Um, but you know, like he, like he's a realist. Get the fucking shot. It's not gonna fucking hurt you. Not getting it can hurt the team. And could potentially sabotage the season, or at least sabotage key points of the season. And that's just not acceptable. And maybe there, and there are probably Vikings fans who are just they're they're so fucking in love with anti-science and everything that they would actually prefer, they would actually enjoy it if not, you know players not getting a fucking vaccine destroyed the season because then they can just own the libs or whatever. But you know, most of us are going to be really fucking pissed if something like that happens and the Vikings miss the playoffs or they you know get screwed out of the division title or they get screwed out of a of a playoff seat or whatever for something as simple as as not getting a very very safe vaccine shot and it's not going to be acceptable to me and a whole lot of fans out there and whether it were, it, and if, look, if it was, if it ended up being, you know, a Kirk thing or Thielen or Smith or anybody else or a coach, that player or coach is fucking dead to me and dead to a lot of this fan base because, you know, you're not bigger than the team. You're not no matter who you are. And, you know, you know, you've got hundreds of people in the organization who put in the work and put in the time to try to win. And that's all being put in jeopardy by, you know, a handful of, of people who just refuse to accept science and refuse to accept logic and refuse to do a very simple thing that won't hurt them but will you know, help them and help a lot of other people at the same time it's absolute insanity and I, I don't accept it and clearly Mike Zimmer does not accept it either and I'm with him 100% and 
you know, maybe he can convince, you know, the holdouts to do the smart thing, do the logical thing. I sure as fuck hope so, because... If anything's going to derail this Viking season, can it please just be something that's actually football related? We've had we've had plenty of football related things that have fucked a Viking season before. You can most of the time accept it because it's that's just those are the breaks of the game. Can't accept this. Can't accept it if refusing to get vaccinated by even a small minority. It could be. It could be like. It could just be a couple players, but a couple players out of, you know, out of, you know, 53 when it's, when it's game time, that could be all it takes and, and you're, you're out and, and maybe you don't even get to play your game. Maybe you have to forfeit a game. I, I, it's just insanity. We're just a stupid country with stupid people in it. Narcissistic assholes, and maybe the maybe the holdouts can be convinced, but I mean I can't imagine, you know, that anything can convince them at this point. It's just going to be like you're just going to be like holding your breath all year to hope that not nobody tests positive on you know a Saturday night before a game. That's that might be the, that might turn out to be the season. You're just you just you, you. It's one thing to get nervous during the games, but you're gonna get nervous even before the games because you don't even know if the fucking game is gonna be able to be played or be played with a full roster. It doesn't have to be this way. You know, again, I'm not gonna sing. I'm not going to single out anybody on this because some of the players who have at least been strongly rumored to, to not be vaccinated are some of the best players maybe on the team and some of my favorite players maybe on the team but you fuck this season you're fucking dead to me I don't give, and I and I know a lot of people are going to agree with this you know take get the fucking shot quit being an asshole <laughs> 